I would say a two out of five is a fig that you enjoy eating, but you're not going to go out of your way to eat it. A one out of five you really just don't like. A three out of five is a good, an average good fig. Four out of five is, is you know, really above average. You're really impressed with it. Five out of five is it's just straight exceptional. Um, so the little Ruby Braba I had was probably a four out of five, which means it's above average and quite exceptional. And um, that one would blow anybody away. Anything that's a four out of five would blow somebody away that has never really tasted a fresh fig, that uh, just enjoys food in general. Maybe they don't necessarily love fruit or they don't have an affinity for fruit like I do. But if you enjoy fruits or you enjoy food, a four out of five is enough of an experience of eating something to really, really enjoy it. So on that note, guys, is that um, we've been ripening Brabas. Maybe some of you guys are very close to main crop or your first figs of the year, you know. Um, maybe this is the first fig you've ever tried. And I just, you know, ate some figs and I ranked them and I rated them a scale of one to five. And um, I talked about, you know, how essentially I think someone who's eating the experience or enjoying that experience of a four out of five and they like food, they like fruit, that's enough to really get them hooked on figs. That, you know, you eat a four out of five and you might actually consider growing a tree. Even if you have no experience growing plants, um, some of these things are so powerful that they can do that. And the fig is a, such a special fruit that I believe it can have that effect on people. However, there is just some things I think you guys should know. Before you're eating your first fresh fig, unless it came from a tree that's quite mature, you live in a very dry place, um, if you are having, if you have a very young tree that maybe you bought, maybe you started from cutting, it's finally getting to a certain size, it's finally fruiting, you're very, very happy that it's putting out these fruits. It, it looks beautiful. You look at it every day. You know, you observe it. You try to figure out if there's anything wrong with it. You're maybe babying it. The chances are, guys, you should lower your expectations. The first fruits off of many trees are just not that good. And even on mature trees, the very first fruits to ripen on a lot of fruit trees, even, like I said, mature trees or not, tend to be a little weird. They're not really up to this, the right standard that you might expect. And when I first started picking figs, and I first started ripening my own figs, I had quite high expectations that were immediately crushed when I bit into that first fig and I really wasn't that impressed. I didn't know what to expect either, you know? Uh, I didn't have someone like me that was telling you guys what these things sort of taste like, what you should expect. Um, I really had nothing to go off of other than what dried figs tasted like. And it's such a different experience than a dried fig. I strongly was considering that I just don't even like them after my first couple figs. I really did. I thought I didn't like them. I thought I went through all this effort for nothing and I was like, crap, maybe I should just forget about all this and stick to dried figs. That's how really crushed I was with my expectations. Um, so what I'm trying to say to you guys right now in this, in this video is that, like I said, unless you have a very mature tree, you've maybe inherited it or something, or you just moved to a new house, um, or you live in a very dry place where you're not getting a lot of water in the soil, a lot of that excess water very much so lowers the quality of the figs. So if you are one of those people, like I said, that has one of these younger trees, it's not very mature, you've been overwatering it probably, most likely, uh, you should lower your expectations. And maybe a little bit later in the season as things start to dry out a little bit or you change your watering habits. Maybe you, you don't water your tree nearly as much. You're not babying it as much. You're only giving it enough water to be happy and healthy. 
you will see a, an improvement in the fruit quality. And when you start to learn how to pick these fruits, every fruit that I've ever picked and every crop that I've ever grown, I needed to learn how to pick it, when to pick it, when to harvest, when do I harvest? Because if you pick it at the wrong time, the fig is extremely subjected to this. It's not a great fruit if you pick it at the wrong time. In fact, a lot of people don't like figs because they don't know how to pick them. So really what all it is here, guys, is the neck. The neck of the fig has to be soft. The softer the neck is, the more ripe it will be. This particular fig over here, we made the journey, <laughs> is starting to swell. You can, you can see the change in color from this darker green to a lighter yellow color almost. It's going to start swelling. It's going to start expanding, getting larger and changing color even further. In fact, this is really a gray fig, so it'll be like this yellowish green color on the undertones. And over top of this will form grayish purple colors all over the skin. And it's very beautiful, this fig. Here's the stem. Here's the neck. This part right here. So touching the stem isn't gonna do anything to determine when it's ripe. Touching the bottom isn't gonna do anything either because the figs ripen from the bottom up. This will always be more ripe than this. This will tell you when it is ripe. So by touching this and squeezing it very gently, you can figure out just how soft it is. And the softer it is, especially this neck, the better off you're gonna be. So that's my little tip here, guys, is that, you, you know, um, I don't want your dreams and hopes to be crushed or something. You see me, you know, eat all these figs and really say wow and really enjoy them and you, maybe you got the bug and you have all these fig trees and you haven't really even tasted that many. A really good idea is to lower your expectations and figure out when exactly you should pick every individual fig. Everyone's a little different. When do you like to pick them as well? Do you like them a little early? Do you like them to be a dead ripe as long as you can to really get them turned into jam? And then of course, how old is your tree? What's the state of your tree? Is it in a state in which you could even ripen a potentially a high quality fig um, this year? Or is it just not the year for you? Above all else, I think lower that water, you guys will be a lot better off. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you soon. Take care. If you guys have a story that like mine, where you ate your first fig and you didn't enjoy it or something like that, let, it know, let us know down in the comments. I'm sure people will be very interested to hear about other people's experiences and see what this fruit really is all about. I hope you guys enjoy your first fruits. We'll see you soon. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you for the next one. Take care.